Okay, uh, welcome to Mi Factories Open Transparent Factory Streaming number 5. Today uh, we're going to continue uh, with this uh, experiment. And for those of you new to this, here's a brief explanation how this works. So I'm going to work here in the workshop uh, in real time on a Mi Factory uh, project and you can watch this. And, when you, and while I work here, I will also take pictures from uh, things that uh, were produced in the process. And when you watch this on YouTube right now, you will find in the video description a link to a Flickr album where you can see all the images I will shoot here today. And there you can browse through the images tagged with uh, number five. And if you see something that interests you, then you can go back into the video and try to figure out when this came to be. So you can um, yeah, learn how this was made, what you see there. Okay, uh, what are we going to work on today? We are continue to work on the Open Shelf Notes project and today we are going to make first experiments for a concrete version. So, um, uh, we will. S I have a little test mold, a 3D printed test mold, and I will add a little bit, little bit of concrete in there to see if it's possible to work with a 3D printed mold and concrete. And uh, if that works, then uh, in a future stream we will have a larger mold like we did uh, with the silicone version from last week, uh, stream number four, um, Yeah, to produce some very cool concrete versions of the open shelf nodes. Uh, after that we are going to uh, experiment a little bit with cable binders. Is it possible to have an absolute minimal version of open shelf nodes just uh, with reusable cable binder? Not sure, probably, let's see. Uh, will be quite interesting and if we have time after that we will also explore here in the video a little bit uh, the angle nodes. Here you can see I, al I already produced some uh, potential angle nodes so these nodes are uh, made to allow open shelf node shelfers to have other angles than uh, 90 degrees. Uh, yeah, And I drilled them but I never actually tested really how this works and uh, if there's time we will set them up so that I can take later good pictures uh, for the documentation of the open shelf notes. Um, yeah. And while you're watching this, uh, the documentation of the open shelf notes is already up. Just go to the Mi Factory web website, mifactory.de uh, and find open shelf notes and there you can see uh, uh, other parts of this project. Uh, for example, versions from acrylic, 3D printed versions, con uh, silicone versions, and this time, yeah, let's go for angle nodes and for concrete versions. I never worked with concrete before, so it will be quite interesting for me as well, and um, hopefully for you too. Okay, let's start. Okay, this is a regular tinker silicone, uh, concrete. I bought it, I think, two years ago, but never worked with it. This was another designer here in the studio who already worked with it, but I never did. So, um, let's see. I haven't even read how this works. We'll do it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. I'm going to reuse the little test mold. I made for the silicone version. Um, it should be good enough to see if the uh, printed molds work with concrete. Um, yeah. You can see 
this was the first design of the mold. And of course for uh, concrete, the mold within the end be basically almost the same. I have a few ideas for modifications, um, but not really major ones. It's just that we need then to have the diameter of these holes, of course, larger, because in the silicone version we had a smaller diameter in order to have some tension when we then put in the 16 millimeter rods. So the mold needs a redesign for the diameters, but also maybe in other parts as well. Always clean up during the process, if possible. Okay. You can see how this was made. <laughs> Yeah, for those of you interested, I first thought that um, I will have uh, nuts and bolts on this on both sides, but it turned out to be not necessary to have nuts and bolts. This time I'm going to be a bit smarter and use some oil. This would probably have also solved the issues uh, we had in streaming number 4 with the silicone mold.
Chinese takeout food, just save the bins. Bins? Not sure. Hmm? Hello. Okay. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. Never buy cheap equipment. Okay. Twenty five. When I need for 100 gram, 10 gram of water, I need for 25, 2.5 gram of water, grams. Really? No, I don't believe this. This is four, really? Mm. <laughs> mm. 
Ben. Okay. Seven. Come on, let's go for it. Okay, yeah. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, Jesus, okay. This is too much water. Trust the numbers, my friend. Clean your equipment as soon as you can. Should this dry? There's only one area for air. No, maybe this is nothing to test small scale. Yeah, but I don't want to have the printing this mold will take at least 15 hours. And you know, before I do that, I want to be 100% sure that there are no issues with 3D printed molds and concrete. Sure, let's see. Let's see what we will learn from that. Okay, here it is. Shall we? Yeah, let's test. Oh yeah, I 
is. Okay, I put this into the window to dry for for long, I guess. Pictures. Okay, clean up and to the cable binder version. I'll be back in two minutes cleaning this up.
Okay, to the cable binder version. Um, this idea came to be when, uh, when I thought about this 3D printed solution here, which is just rings, uh, which is not a very stable shelf node. It's really um, yeah, it wobblies. Uh, maybe it's a fun node to print um, with uh, a, a flexible material. But you know, when you can um, shrink it down to that level, why? don't use cable binder uh, in, in the first place. So uh, let's check if this is possible with cable binders. And of course we don't, we are a studio for open circular design. Of course we won't use cable binder. No, we will use reusable cable binder. And I happen to have a lot of this here. So let's go and find it and start the experiment. I expect this to be very difficult, given that it's already a bit tough to set up um, a shelf using uh, regular open shelf nodes, but with this one, it's probably a different kind of cake, even. So, but let's see. <clears throat> Eight, eight times three makes twenty-four. Okay, we are going to need all of them. For this I won't use um, 16 millimeter rods. I bought here, um, I think 20 or 22. This is B material, so this was super cheap. You can see the material has all kinds of little flaws. But you know, for prototyping uh, and use, it's totally fine. Ah, yeah, these are supposed to be 20, and I bought them as 20, and then it turned out that there are 21 or 20.5, which caused some problems uh, with the prototyping uh, last year. You know, but for this, it's perfect. Nice material, I forgot what it is. But it's um it's it's not it's not a super usual wood, but it's strong, it's pretty light, and has a bright color. Nice. So this is how you can remove them. So I thought about this. And I think the best way should be now to put it 
this one through both here. Makes a nice picture. Give me a second. This actually looks as work. Ah, yeah, this is the problem with these removable cable binders. I tell you what, this will work. And it won't even be difficult to assemble. Not as difficult as I thought it would be. That's super nice. Yeah, but in the end, that's the question. How oh, strong this Let's make more. I mean, even if these were not reusable cable binders, many cable bind binders are made out of silicone. So when you find a way to collect your silicon waste separately, recycling is definitely an option, but you know... Hmm. The rods will be fine, but you know, with this plastic waste so how to go about this in the assembly I think I will make frames and then connect 
the frames. Okay, I see this will be difficult then in the end to be sure which one goes where. Is there a better angle for you to follow this? I wonder if there are A and B types for this as well. That would be interesting. Something a smart person would know already. I might know later. Yay! Come on, let's see if I can manage to make this work. Maybe.
so through both at the same time. Can you see? Not sure. No one's. They come in colors everywhere. Yeah, the white one is stronger, I guess. Maybe the blue color makes the material weaker. This is something I find super interesting to discover that some um, pigments and plastics make the material more weak than other pigments. For example, when you play with Lego bricks and you have reddish brown ones, so this really dark red, those really break easily. I heard and experienced myself. So. Oh, yes. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. This will not work. Definitely not. Hey, maybe I need for the third one a larger one. Okay, so I learned when they are too short, you run into problems with the third rod. So you should not have them too short. This looks better.
Ouch! Okay, yeah, it is difficult. I assumed it would be and you know, I was right. It's not fun. It's fun, but it's not simple. Hey, this, this is good. This is how it should be. What did I do? Is it on the camera? <laughs> I assume when you have to set up a large, assuming this works, and imagine your job is to set up a large structure with this technique, without experience, I think you will hate the job. Yeah, this is good about the open shelf nodes when you have pipes. You can't do that. And that. So, this is stupid. This will not work. Why did I thought this works? Why did I thought this would work? <laughs> not sure. Um, Let's finish it. Why did I thought this would work? Jeez. No. Oh no. Wow. 
Why did I thought this would work? I'm not sure. Maybe because of the 3D printed one. I mean, the cable binder had a flat surface, a very small flat surface that, given enough pressure, could or should hold this in place. But can you apply enough pressure? Probably not. Structures like this triangles, triangle nodes. That would work, of course. Triangles. Okay, 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 okay. Oy, no. Why not? Ah, there. That's the reason. Can uh, you see her dressed in blue? Ding, 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 ding. Inside or outside? Okay, I think this one will go. You should have a separate post in the documentation called Failed Experiments. This is something my colleague Sam told me that the cool thing about the internet is that there is enough space to publish um, when something went wrong. This was a problem in the old world, you know, when something went wrong, and you had only limited public publication space, where to put this information. But in the web, we have more space. So. I will have a post this failed experiment. I tried to drill a, um, a sphere 
with my desk drill to make a round public shelf note from wood. Of course, horribly failed. Can drill a sphere with a desk drill. But it looked beautiful. It would look beautiful. If you have the right machines, this is really the way to go. If you have not, not so much. This is a structure to hang. To hang this is awesome. Have you seen her dressed in blue? Yeah, I mean. If you hang that, what's the... Uh, then... No, can't hang this. It sucks. That's just stupid. That's just... This is just a fail. <laughs> yes. You could... You could have a... Have a a plate here, which then would avoid this. But not this, so you would need two of them, and then we would be safe. But why to add, why add two of them? That's really not an elegant design. Then it doesn't make any sense. I need shelf notes. You know what you need? You need one, one really good shelf note up here. And the rest, one shelf note up here, or up here, anywhere in the structure. Just one would avoid this. Yes, it would avoid this. It would avoid everything. If you have just one, this is cool. This is what this is for. You can have one or two. Okay, let's take a picture. And, uh, continue with something else. Ah, look. 
Look what I did there. Dressed in Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. Mm. One shelf node. One really good stable shelf node. Would fix this. Which is super interesting. It would still be shaky, but it would hold it. I need this for further <laughs> reflection. <clears throat> Why did I thought this would work?
Okay, what's next on the list? Angle notes. Okay, um, yeah, I should have explained this, right? Um, yeah, I should. Okay. Uh, now we are going to look at angle notes. So the uh, thing about the open shelf notes is that it's very easy to make a 90 degree or 180 degree uh, angles. But what is what happens if you have a room with a round corner, for example, or a different angle in the room? Can you still set up a shelf using the open shelf notes system? And my guess is yes, you just need um, adjustable shelf notes that allow you to create every angle you want. And this is the solution here. i show you how the small prototype worked. So you can see it's just... I think you can see this. It's just... Um, it's not a full cube, but a cube cut into pieces. And then this allows you to move this around. Oh, come on. 
so here you don't have to have a. Um, do I? Yeah. So I come here with regular shelves, notes, and then I sort of go go this way, right? Yeah. And I made large versions of this to test here with the large wooden version prototype. And I'm going to put this together now to, s to maybe have uh, better pictures and also some more insights about this. Uh, let me figure out when I come from here with a regular one. And then I want to go here around the corner. Let's see. Okay. So let's do it. Again, I made these months ago and I never got to continue the project. But now with the streams, you know, there is an incentive to continue the prototyping. Why did I do that? I don't know. It wasn't smart. I wish it would be easier to show this. This is really interesting. But uh, the space I have doesn't really allow. So here we have half a shelf. And now we put in here the angle nodes. Mm -hmm. 
Let's try it. I probably should remove the cardboard. I definitely should. But I won't. Dude, remove the remove the cardboard. Come on. forces came from the cardboard and where was a flaw in the design.
Ah, okay. As you can see, if you want to have an angle that works, you really need to... Watch where is your empty space. So here I can move it, but I wanted to, have to move it here, which doesn't work. So this means I would have to assemble it differently. So this comes from here and this from there. And then I can make this. This time I want this one like this. Yes. And then I want to have that one like. Jesus. Okay, yeah. This is how prototyping works. You assume things and then they don't work. That's how this works. You need to come from a stable side and then you go around the corner on a different level. I knew this. Why did I forget it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's do it. Let's assemble everything from scratch and then we have the chance to make it right.
So, let's go for it. Zack. So, shelf note first, then comes an angle note. Another one. Then comes the shelf note. And then comes another angle note. That's how this works. That's how this works. This is when you when you invent these things or you think of think of them and then you let a lot of months pass by and then you continue to work on them you forgot a lot of things And then I have to build four times.
you can of course just assemble a whole board with angle nodes. It will not be super stable, but should work. Something to test in the future. Maybe I'll 3D print some. Then I can test this quicker. Okay, I'm going to end the stream here uh, and the recording. Why? Uh, because I think this would take a little bit more time to assemble and it, nothing really interesting will happen. So um, it's a waste of uh, streaming and uh, video later on the web. And there's only one person watching the stream right now, so sorry for you. But I assume that you uh, will be able to live with the decision. Um, I will finish this. There will be uh, pictures of this and documentation up later in the uh, uh, open shelf note documentation. So you will definitely see the outcome of this. But you know, the assembly of this, uh, recording the video, uploading it to YouTube, streaming it, all of this costs our future, all of this costs carbon uh, or CO2. So why waste uh, all of this carbon on something that's not super interesting. So, um, thanks for watching, thanks for plugging in. Uh, the next stream will be probably, or not probably, very likely next week. And I think we will continue our journey with the uh, open shelf notes. There are a lot of other things uh, in the pipe that need to be built and experimented uh, and see. Sorry uh, that the stream today was more or less an encounter of uh, mistakes or, or things that didn't work. So probably not so interesting to watch. Uh, I would try to bury this, never watch it, don't recommend it. But this is how prototyping goes, you know? Things go wrong all the time, uh, or you have ideas in your mind uh, that you think that should work, and then they don't work, and then you learn something from this. This is how this um, whole process is. is um, that's the nature of these things. Uh, especially when there's a lot of time in between you making the idea and the parts, and you putting them together to see if it really works, as was the case this time. So, thank you, stay tuned, the project continues, there will be a lot of interesting things. Ah, maybe, one last look at the, at the modes. Yeah. It starts to dry out. This is already, oh, this is already quite solid. So I think 24 hours will be enough. Of course, the documentation of this will also be up uh, quite soon. Not the documentation of this, the documentation of the finished uh, concrete shelf node, which will work. And uh, maybe next week uh, in the stream, we are going to create the mold for the concrete open shelf node. Uh, when we create it in the stream, you will uh, can watch it live, uh, or you will find later the, the files for the for the mold. Interesting thing about the mold will be that there will be up here a little extra hole where you then can put in um, a nut, so that you can use this as a um, as a collar, as a as a, as a fix, fixing collar. So you can make sure through a, a regular bolt and a nut that will be hidden 
in the shelf node that it doesn't slide up and down. This is a really interesting um, innovation we will uh, put into the mold and uh, have also in some of the 3D printed um, shelf nodes that we are going to create in the future. And yeah, stay tuned. Maybe next week we will do this. Maybe we will do something else. Maybe we will also push another project outside of the open shelf nodes. It's still the case. We have a shelf full of prototypes here and a head full of ideas and a computer full of uh, started projects. All open circular designs that will all come to life here in the factory or outside of it. Uh, and I'm looking forward to share it with you. Bye bye.